YSUSports.com, sitting down with the Youngstown State head baseball coach, Rich Pasquale. And coach, you had a really busy week last week with Scout Day on Wednesday and then Parents Day wrapping up on Saturday with the inter squad scrimmage. Just talk about, first off, with Scout Day, just, you know, what all goes on there and, you know, everything that goes on. Well, we had uh, our guys, we had a, well, first off, we had a great turnout. Uh, we, we were at Eastwood Field and we had a great turnout with uh, the Major League Scouts. Uh, there were about 18. Uh, we counted and, and uh, from all different major league teams and and what we did was we we made it more of a professional workout rather than an inter squad game and and that kind of thing and and that's what the scouts want to see you know we we piggyback with Kent State they go earlier in the in the uh, day and then we come down to Eastwood since we have the lights um, at six thirty. Um, so we just we did a basic uh, professional workout, 60-yard uh, dash, um, and then we took a uh, uh, an extended infield outfield for the scouts to be able to evaluate their arms and their fielding abilities, and and uh, and then right after that we went into our BP routine, uh, different stations, and then uh, you know everybody had a chance their group uh, to come around and uh, hit off the hit on the field during BP, and we had different. BP rotations as we normally do, and uh, during that time, you know, the scouts are, uh, you know, they're evaluating up in the press box. We had some food for them uh, from Bellaria, and and uh, they enjoyed that. Um, so it was uh, overall it was a good day. You know, they they saw how our guys are are hustling. Everything was well organized, uh, as a few scouts have, uh, mentioned afterwards, and um, you know it was great. I mean, we give them a packet. Uh, that has everybody's name, address, cell phone, uh, information, um, and also different forms for them to easily evaluate so they know exactly who's who. And um, But I thought overall it was a good day, really good night. With Jackie Healy getting drafted, Eric Marzi getting drafted, and then Aaron Swenson signing with the Orioles, and even Tom Clayton signing with, uh, you know, with the Frontier League over there. Um, was there, I guess, maybe an, an extra energy with the players and then even with the scouts that you know that there were four professional players coming out of this program last year was there an extra kind of energy and may, maybe a built reputation I think so I mean I, I know that a, a few scouts have told me they enjoy uh, coming to Eastwood seeing us work out because of how organized everything is and they realize that uh, or they're starting to see that that we're developing our players and uh, they're gonna see some more you know this year and years to come uh, you, you know they're going to have that that chance uh, to get drafted, to sign as a free agent. Um, they know how hard we're working as a staff to uh, make that happen for our guys. So I, I believe there is a, a sense of energy and sense of you know excitement of of uh, you know those particular scouts coming to Youngstown. Um, I, I know in the information packet there there were specific things about Jeremy Banks, Joe Yakabuchi, Phil Klein. Can you maybe talk about? It? You know, maybe what scouts came away from the scout day thinking about those three guys, and if there was maybe anybody else that really emerged. Well, I think you know they they uh, they left with uh, seeing Phil Klein throw well. You know, his velo was uh, 88 to 90 um, on a consistent basis. He was sitting at 89. Um, you know, good slider. I mean, everything off speed was very good. He was hitting his spots. Uh, we did a like a 15 pitch. Uh, sequence uh, bullpen with him there on the on, off the main mound, and uh, I think they walked away with you know seeing his size and seeing what he was throwing. Um, they're anxious to see him in the spring. And, and one one scout even mentioned that you know they even know there's more in there uh, from him, um, which was nice to see that you know they're they're excited uh, you know for the abilities that, you know the, for the different things that, that Phil was showing. Um, I think they liked uh, Jeremy's power. Um, he showed well, um, and also with Joe. Um, excuse me. I think uh, you know, with the different BP rounds that we do, it allows our hitters to show how they can handle the bat too. Um, whether you know we have a round of uh, you know hit and run, we have a round of uh, you know a, a base runner at second, you got to move them, you know that kind of thing. And and uh, and then we had a couple gap to gap rounds where that really was uh, allowed our guys to to uh, launch a few. But um, I think they walked away with you know the two position guys, you know, showing their power because they use wood, um, uh, and 
you know, seeing Phil, Phil did very well. And I think he really helped himself uh, to gain some more momentum going into the spring. Um, going forward to Parents Weekend, just talk about, you know, the, the scrimmage itself, how it was run, and you know, how nice it was to have everybody's families in on Saturday. Oh, it was great. It was great seeing them because sometimes, you know, we haven't seen, you know, the parents since recruiting um, during that time, especially the newer uh, players. And so it was very good to – uh, to see a little excitement from the players because maybe they haven't seen, you know, their families in a couple of weeks since school started and everything. So uh, that was good. Um, you know, we, we took, uh, you know, batting practice in the cages. Field was a little wet from the night before. Uh, but, uh, you know, we took an extended infield, outfield, and we played six innings. And, uh, you know, we, what we did, uh, we had a little bit on the line uh, of this particular inner squad, the loser had to work the uh, the football game coming up this week. So there was a little added uh, on to the game, but it uh, I think it was well played. It was well pitched at times. Uh, we still have a long way to go, you know, whether it's uh, some defensive plays or, uh, you know, some pitching uh, performances. There were some busy innings. Uh, however, the pitchers, you know, did a good job for the most part of getting out of those busy innings. Um, so you, you walk away with there was there were more pluses than, than minuses, and, and if we can stay close to par, uh, we're going to win some games. Uh, but I felt that it went very well. Um, the parents were outstanding with bringing you know food and everything for after a uh, little picnic afterwards, and um, you know we you know, I told the parents that. Here at YSU, days like that really show how YSU is different. You know, YSU is a special place to be. You know, with a parent that has their son playing for us, um, and just you know, it, it's great going to work every day, uh, being here with these guys. It really is. And I told the parents that uh, right before uh, the picnic started. Um, overall, in the fall, you're about a month in. Just. Talk about where maybe you've seen the most progress. Um, I would say, uh, you know, definitely on the pitching end. Um, the pitchers, uh, you know, if they've had a busy inning, they've been able to work out of those. And, and that's, that's going to be a, a key because at times last year we weren't able to um, minimize the damage. And, and I see that the, uh, the pitchers are, are starting to do that this year. Um, we're getting some, uh, some key base hits at times on the other side. Um, so it's, it's positive on the offensive end. We're turning some double plays. Um, and so, uh, you know, overall, I mean, there's a long way to go and there's still a lot of teaching to be done uh, because we are young in a lot of areas. Um, but the guys are responding very well.